the living room where the family meets to discuss issues any issue which may be bothering one of the family members that's what we do each and every tuesday on WAC 90.1 fm with ricardo mitchell and dj aaron 868 we have casual conversations on serious topics from sports to culture, mental health to economics, relationships to life lessons. Join us each and every Tuesday on WAC 90.1 FM. The Living Room. Casual conversations on serious topics. It is currently 6 p.m. here in Trinidad and Tobago on the 26th of july 2022 i don't know what time it is where you are what day it is where you are but i'm glad to know you're locked on to the true nation station wack 90.1 fm where we are culture c -c -c crazy um like it could off first and foremost as we always do recover all right must give thanks and praises to the almighty for granting us the gift of life and seeing another day no matter what time of day it is you must always give thanks and secondly, we must say thank you to those that went before us, um, not just the ancestors, the Tainos and the Kalinagos, the original inhabitants of Trinidad and Tobago, because we all know that Columbus lied. But also to our brother in music, Tony Prescott, where the P this week stands for? Prescription, dog. Prescription. You want any drugs, though? No, I just saying music is a cure all now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Right. Um, this is yours truly, DJ Aaron eight six eight. I'm always great and I'm never late. Alongside my bro, bro with no fro. Ricardo Mitchell, the social stage on the local stage. Right. And um, really easy, guys. Um, no set out long talk before we start. Just a couple issues that we have to touch on. Ricardo, you wanna go first? Yeah, man. No problem. Uh, first thing you hear about um the new artist out of Jamaica, boy. Afraid to say. Fella, fella better than Jack, yo. Jack Revenge, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight out all day, man. Listen, uh, you ran something I witnessed in the grocery earlier today, and it really, it just shifted my heart. So it's, I'm not hanging my hat, I'm not wiping my feet. I just, it just moved me now. There are two types of people shopping right now. There are people in the grocery who watching the price of something, saying, way look how much this going up and putting it in the trolley and then there have people who are watching the price of something and saying well we know what we're not buying i literally heard those words come out of a young woman's mouth and it kind of hurt my heart earlier too that she was like hmm. well you know what we're not buying now what i'm saying is is a challenge just 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 as a, a friend of mine who spent several hours um, in deep thought the other night in the darkness and in the stillness thinking it is expensive to just exist right? but I just want to continue to encourage people out here who fighting who pushing who trying because everybody under the same kind of problems you know it's just people differently equipped to handle them so stay up and God bless but die die me this week I, I got no quarreling no buffing no nothing um Yesterday, I got the news, well, I got wind of a very unfortunate situation which took place on the nation streets, right? Uh, unfortunately, someone was hit by a car in Port of Spain. And the first words that came out the perpetrator's mouth was, Way boy, look how my car mash up. Not, I wonder if the person is alive. Not, I wonder how they're doing. Look how my car was How the fire truck is that the first words to come out your mouth after a situation like that. That is a human being. Before I get myself in any more trouble, Ricardo, I want to say something that I'm, I'm not supposed to say. The respect for human life is so low that you hit somebody and you study how your car look after. Uh, as Kenny just say, Father, help your children. 
Yes, that no song like him, you know. Yeah, <clears> boy, <throat> that bad boy. So I come in and talk about, you know, we being a little mindful and people who get, get see in trouble, and you come in with a uh, the other end of the scale, now. The it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a balance. <sighs> that 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 is, that is the two paradigms that we face in society right now. Hmm. But to quote a whole minister of education, a paradigm. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Ricardo, um, introduce our guest for tonight now. Yeah, well, because... uh, Lord, tonight we we continuing the addressing the violence series, and there was a particular incident several weeks ago where a DJ lost his life after an altercation with what has been reported to be a, a disgruntled patron, and it was an opportunity to look at. A, a little bit of the entertainment industry, but also to look at the guys and the ladies who work in this industry. And I wanted an opportunity to, well, I took the opportunity to try to show that there's a different side to this two-letter word, to this DJ. Right? Uh, it would have been uh, biased of me to just interview Aaron. I thought it was necessary for us to bring in somebody else that I respect in the art craft because of his contributions to the community. And Shea Amun, also known as DJ Intellect. He's a DJ, MC, a marketing consultant, and now he's actually an educator, right? Yeah, he's leading the Intellectuals DJ Workshop. Yeah, he's, uh, it is about life skills, it's about more than just the mixing. Right? I, I had the pleasure of encountering him at the studio several weeks ago, seeing some of the work that the students were doing. And I was very impressed by what it is he's trying to do in terms of elevating his art form. Right? He's been DJing since, oh, he's done radio broadcasting with the IBC in 2005. So he's been in it for a while. Uh, audio production and sound engineering under LA Records. Hmm. DJ Science under Star Broadcasting, Oral Communications in 2018, doing public speaking and radio announcing. And the Gotti HSSE Training Center 2020, where he did risk assessment, job safety analysis, will see the CPR. And under Synergy Training Institute in 2021, he did social media marketing. So it would explain why he has such a balanced, such a holistic approach to the industry and his uh, performance thus far. So. Uh, we're going to swing it over to Warish to give us a quick intro. Yeah. And then we're going to welcome She, aka DJ Intellect, into the living room. All right. Welcome to the living room. Welcome to the living room. I, I think the last time I ran into this fella was the last actual carnival that we have it's true it's true yeah it's true yeah yeah no 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 there was um when you were doing the the throwback the soccer bag wednesdays i think it was a soccer bag thursdays i know i came and i made our parents there yeah 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 that was right. really that was when covid was you no know, kind of now cool. starting ish but well, cool. was it was COVID serious, ish. yeah it was ish yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right yeah. So this this gentleman that we have here today is no stranger to the entertainment industry, not as going to insult, but in Trinidad, Tobago, the Caribbean, and around the world. Right? That's true. Um, the bio did you justice, but I just had a train that you are Southern royalty. Who are taking that from you, bro? Whoa. <laughs> Cats, yeah. I tell yeah. everybody. You said that when I get the pre-recorded, I'm gonna be taking out that 15 seconds. And I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna boost it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I love it. Thanks, bro. It means a lot coming from you, you know. It means a lot, yeah. bro. I, I yeah. still young in the game compared to you, but it's true. <laughs> let me let me let me tell all the plain talk bad manners, right? Intellect is my neighbor in more ways than one. Yeah, this man mm. literally see my son up by the road that evening and stop the car. Boom. Hey, we had a talk. And the talk talk. And that lead mm. us to where we at now. Because we had some things going on too. And I really couldn't think of anybody better to have this conversation with. Because one, Ole is Ole in the game long enough to have seen the things. 
and yeah, two man. until i kind of use a man forward thinking and community oriented now so it's really a good opportunity for us to show people out here what is going on all the talk we just talk about what dj is doing and responsible mm. for but let me talk about what dj is doing and responsible oh, for very good you understand very so good. It's a pleasure to have you here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to point something out. Eh? Back in the day, back in the day, my lime in Haiti, I am not exactly the tallest. Intellect is not one of the tallest either. Yeah. And we had a similar shape, mm. face, glasses, wearing everything. Mm-hmm. I walk in about seven parties already because people thought I was intellect. <laughs> no, no lie. People are healing me out and asking me what time I spinning and I laughing. But <laughs> to fix that, I grow the goatee and he grow the dread. So you can tell who is who now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can separate it now. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's, it's been years that uh we've been in each other's sp- spaces and I've seen some of the things you're doing, and I think um people have a right to know what else is going on now. There's a reason that I don't believe intellectual is a nickname mm. i think it's a it's a description uh, the conversations we've had the things that you're working on i think it's time that we let people get ideas to this dj and thing being more than the chukka chukka yeah 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 the chukka chukka yeah it's more than it's way more than that it's way more than that yeah, yeah. so how i look at it so I want to start wild one time yeah yeah, yeah. This, this this let me let me let me address the elephant in the room right there was an incident, a little, a, a fatal incident several weeks ago. Yeah. Where a DJ uh, died after an altercation with a patron at an event. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. I don't understand that. Up to this day. I had to find out from you all. Because, no, Aaron, you get an interview too, eh? <laughs> Right. Wait, as DJs, mm. I, I I I want to hear what you think about that particular incident. Well, well, after reading the the, the information in newspaper, give give had, I gathered that I guess the person was asking for Gaza music, Trinidad music, or Badman music, and that DJ said no, I wasn't gonna, I'm not doing that. Act. After the event, catch him outside, right? But me personally, I've been in that position, right? and it sounds simple, but you don't know who cuts who first, who run up and who face first, right? At the end, at the end of every day, it's still wrong. A life was lost. Mm-hmm. It could have been dealt with differently, right? It should have been dealt with differently, right? The person who did it, I believe, maybe because of the hype, you know, maybe the alcohol, the friends around, and of course, the type of music, all together was a bad combination. Hmm. And on watching the, the other DJ now, he's an older guy, right? He not on that speed. He just went just to do a gig. So mentally, he not already studying, looking out for that. So, so me personally, I believe that the DJ playing the music and the music that people want, yes, the DJ must know how to mix, how to do it. But it cannot reach that far. It should never reach that far. And that's deeper than music. That's a man's growth. Now, we don't want to get into that yet about mental thinking and how a man's supposed to be functioning out there under pressure because he's man you know he's not woman he's man <laughs> good don't want to get into that yet right but <laughs> it was it shouldn't it should not happen and not tolerating it i i personally wanted to come out and say something about it but i chose not to but on this platform i would say djs need to one stand up stop the music let everybody know what going on right especially if it's something confrontational like that go to the promoter go to our security because when a dj going in he the dj must talk to the security or a security 
because you're gonna get search. That'll mm-hmm. see where in your bag. If you don't have a security, the person who hire you see that person. Hey, we have a we have a picture and take over again. What are we gonna do? I feel unsafe. It's not nothing wrong with that. But a man might rock back and just say, boy, no, no, play nothing. Do, 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 do. At the end of the day, everybody should. That's how it's at different levels that how people should deal with stuff. Mm-hmm. But me, if it was me in that predicament, and I look for a promoter, look for security, look for a next DJ to find somebody else to say, yo, deal with this man, or bring somebody to deal with this man here. Yeah. I wouldn't really be confrontational with it because if I come and say, oh, so what happened? Then it will get it will be it will become more than what it's supposed to. Because mm-hmm. it's just a man asking for a song. Right. But again, you don't know how he came to the DJ. You don't know what the DJ did after. That's a, right, but. that's a that's a that's a valid perspective because it ha- we we need to know what the context is before we could draw a definitive conclusion. Yes, right? yes, but no. it should have been dealt with differently. It Definitely, Iran. I want to bring you in to get your take on the information that we have yes we're going on that right um i going on the, I, i'll go down at the front row because i'll go down the road from the side of the patron because it goes a lot deeper as as she was saying there than just a man asking for a song and and he ain't playing it and the dj didn't play it it now goes to as a patron as a man as an individual you're not handing rejection well enough that you take the angle that this DJ and play my tune, I had to go and confront him in whichever way, right? Which is wrong. Because as you say, that's a, that's a whole next conversation in terms of, and I'll, I'll be frank, in terms of men handling rejection. Because that could take you down a whole next road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. They go down there. I find next interview. Not the next right. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So um, now, now, now to address it from the DJ side, because as you said, Shay, a lot of DJs have been in this scenario where you're at an event, a promoter might tell you, hey, these are the kind of vibes I'm looking for. Me and one mm-hmm. of thing. thing. me and one of, and I, as always said, for the past four weeks, I've been calling some artists' names, and I'll continue to do it, the music of the likes of um, Skeng and Skilly Bang, because mm. that is what trend yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And the, the, the promoter may say, Dan, I don't want that kind of music at my event. But the patrons wouldn't know that. And they'll say, because you ain't playing that. Mm. that. That DJs are insert that kind of word here now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So, it it very is, is a level of communication one. And if you feel threatened as a sashe, you had to be able to meet or call a promoter call the security and let somebody that the situation is becoming uncomfortable and it's becoming confrontational because exactly. let like put it the other way if the dj had beat the man hmm. what the headline hmm. would i say yeah yeah back and out yeah they would have, they yeah. Would have deal with all it. yeah 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 it's so true. It, yeah it had many scenarios that could have taken place there at that moment none of us were there the hmm. only people who could have come for what took place most of them, I'm sure, not going to say anything. Yep. But it's unfortunate to know that because our man didn't get to hear the tune he wanted to hear, mm, you know, our family has to sad. attend a funeral. Yeah, sad. Sad. Too sad. Let me tell you, no, I just want to, I just want to stop you here. Let me, no, it had two recent incidents that made me realize that we are under a little pressure. The, the, the island. It's mm-hmm. a, not not just DJs and what we do it, the island. You see when that happened, you see when they stole the bell from the church? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And and you see the 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 youth man, the, the water boy in Port of Spain. In broad daylight. Oh, uh-huh. right. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Boy. Yeah, those, those, those three things happening simultaneously clearly shows that something is wrong somewhere. Because how were they moving our bed? From a church. All that, all that, all that, from a church. Well, that to really properly come together and get the proper heavy tea equipment. 
and men to walk the sea. You understand? Right. That, yeah, that yeah, is not, yeah. that is not, it's, it's not an opportunistic crime. That is that a is very, very that, bad, premeditated. Right. That was a heist. To steal, to steal a bell. No, yes, the bell is plenty money buying scrap iron. Wood. You understand? Mm-hmm. But still, mm-hmm. now when I saw the cutting of the cable and thing, I was like, wait, but but the bell and those other two things. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, now you go back to the DJ thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, but yeah. I, I like I like what you do there because you put it in context that this is not yeah. just a isolated well, incident. I want to exactly. quote. I want to quote a man who say <laughs> he's a geologist, right? Mm. And the man made references to people getting in trouble because they're partying when they were the young boys, the three young boys out of the six in the car. Mm-hmm. Right, that um, that died after a confront, a yes. incident with protective yeah. services. Right, right. The, uh, things still under investigation. I'm not looking to put myself in court clothes, but when there was there was a comment as to people need to be more productive than spending the time partying. Mm. Right, what I what I see in here, what you just show us is that listen, this is not about where I was and what I was doing. We have a level of criminality that is deliberate or outright thoughtless because you're telling me a family has been left without our loved one because of an incident that started, we don't know how it progressed, but it started because as Iran pointed out, a man get rejected for a song. Now, yeah. the catch is we don't know who tone and who behavior. But mm-hmm. as DJs, you all also understand the value of the equipment that's all you're dealing with. No, but, well, Please. Ricardo, be, before mm-hmm. you even go there, you have to remember in a party setting, mm-hmm. it is below. Right. So what you think is a shouted response, you have to speak at an elevated level because of the environment that you are in. It's true. But patrons in an event coming around all the equipment with drinks and them kind of thing too. So all you have to have a kind of training w- on how to so, manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So these are veterans. As I said, as you said before, it's not all about just the chukka chukka. Mm. You have to know how to do these things that will fall on the life skills. Because right. the same way you would deal with a uh, 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 unruly patron, you could deal with unruly person in public. You yeah. can do it anybody, anybody on road that you find in your space. Mm-hmm. You could take that same thing and put it in that scenario and 70, 30 do it. <laughs> because the main thing is to calm down the situation or to level it up. No, no, a lot of persons just view a DJ walking out with your bag, with your laptop in it, and be like, that's a small thing. Mm. Right? The average laptop that a DJ is using now costs no, upwards. Yeah, well, stop, stop, hold on. Don't say the price. <laughs> because the way the country go in. It no, I, I wasn't going to say a price. But, okay. yeah, give me a range, give me a range. But low ball it hard, eh? Yeah. Mm. It, it, it could run here. Yeah. Hmm. A car installment. If you're really white. Yeah. Yeah. If you're really white, they could go by courts. And sell a liver? No, you need a, a kidney. Is is a kidney? You can sell a kidney, and and you can get you know, and you get you nice. That's starting to suspect. That's yeah, that yeah. they're not cheap. Not yeah, at it's all. Not that not right. At so all. imagine. I, I know. I, I, I want to paint a picture. I want to paint a picture here. Imagine you with your expensive income earning equipment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember if this thing not working, all you not working. That right. means you're not earning, which might mean you're not eating. It's mm-hmm. true. And a man it's come true. over you come over your multi thousand dollar income generating device mm-hmm. with a fifteen or twenty dollar drink. Mm. You have to protect that workspace because what people don't understand is despite the vibes and how cool you might be, you are at a job. Yes, mm-hmm. you are. Yeah. You are in the capacity of a professional in our workspace. You understand? And 
you, you know it's the messed up part of this Ricardo. If I carry my Lysia controller to play at an event, mm-hmm. right? The promoter just pay me to rent my controller. Hmm. And God forbid a man $15 drink spill on my <laughs> controller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chances are more than likely you might end up having to buy a new one. Yeah. Or again, was, sell a kidney to forget tricks. And I'll go and say that. Yeah. Or, or sell it here. No. Hmm. No, no. <laughs> um, that whole Car- next conversation, eh? but mm, anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Cardo, I want to ask that question. Mm. You said, uh, the per- you didn't want to call a name. What what was the per- what does the person do? He said what about people yeah, partying? And that the, the, some of the, the comments oh, that, that came out. Comment. Yeah, the comment mm-hmm. that came out was that people, we need to be more productive. Yeah. And it's because we party in that these things happening. Now I'm paraphrasing, mm-hmm. but the premise was we need to be more productive. And if where they were coming from and what they were doing when that happened. Okay. Right? So, it totally ignored the fact that people has been in the house sleeping and crime coming and meet them. It totally ignored the yeah. fact that people has been on the way to and from work and encounter protective services when things go all right yeah. it totally yeah. ignores the fact that you could have been selling water yeah it totally ignores the fact that you could have been crossing rice in the road and get pitched how much of our feet in the air no no i could i could i could i could tell you what this person mean meant it, that mm-hmm. person sounds like a way older person mm-hmm. meaning like you know you know back in the day your mother will say or your parents will say um do good in school or you just end up one other thing All right right but if you do do good in school you have different avenues once mm-hmm. you are open to different avenues the issue isn't people partying the issue is people only get introduced to one avenue right because let's say let's say let's say i'm a dj right mm-hmm. boom i'm a dj I outside party, and I outside party, and I outside party, and I play in music. My son grow. Then what he see me doing? Mm-hmm. So where you think he going at? He going and try to do what daddy doing? Or oh, let's say I have a, a cousin or a, somebody real close to me who does dress a certain way or act a certain way. Mm-hmm. My son might start to act and walk and talk like him because he like that vibes. He like when he see uncle talk to somebody and get that response so he like that so those are the only two avenues let's say my son will see mm-hmm. for his whole life or to start up right but if now we actually start to introduce different things like back in the day like i have i have a, I have, I have a student right he lives tobago he came from jamaica but he talks proper English. You could put him in London. You could put mm-hmm. him anywhere. Proper. So I asked him, I said, I asked him, I said, so how come you could talk so good? Because Jamaica, Tobago, but you're sounding properly. He said, his mother said, once you live in, in this house, you cannot talk broken English. So she stamped that down. So she, from birth, he had to know that, plus all the other stuff he was introduced Mm-hmm. What are the youths now being introduced? And partying? What else other than partying? Back in my day, we had all these little programs functioning. Where are all the programs are functioning? Well, as I said, I don't get into that. Maybe get back into the DJ thing. Yeah, I read yeah. it for the moment. But, um, <laughs> no, I, 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 I definitely acknowledge. <laughs> you realize it. I acknowledge that you're right. We acting as if the youths and them are not just the youths eh, because it's big hard back 40s and 50s you see in in some of them TTPS posts on Facebook and thing. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. expect the youths to have a kind of behavior that we don't have. So yeah, it's true. is you're you're running red light. You're driving up the shoulder. You're cutting in front of people in line. You're bad charging people. You're littering. Mm-hmm. 
right yeah you're, you're beating you're beating your partner you what mm-hmm. i mean is it have every level of yeah. unlawfulness every level of disrespect and disregard for ethics and humanity going on but there's blue color white color red white and black color mm-hmm. but then when the youth and them expressing our kind of behavior our kind of way you want to call them out on the one that is not yours now you want to call them out what example they have and in terms of example the reason that i'm glad that we have the two are all here is because we have an opportunity to show people that listen it have another side to this dj thing that you're seeing right dj aaron 868 you are proper culture lover and a patriot mm-hmm. we know what you stand for we know the work you're putting in in terms of promoting and preserving the culture we understand that yes a man will always give flowers while people are alive you your your ethic and your reputation that don't stamp already but intellect now it have a side of you that plenty of people who ain't watching close and go no and i'm it's gonna true. take the opportunity to call out here the intellectuals on your t-shirt because on your polo because i yeah, want yeah. I, I want you to show people that dj don't just walk in play music and walk out i want you to tell us a little bit about the intellectuals workshop all right so what's the start like all right we starting from we starting from me and my team i run in trade quick mm-hmm. if you, i can make a movie like you know all, all, all of me titanic was three hours yeah six um, long, 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 long. Yeah, long. Yeah, I, yeah. I can make one of those I can make one of them. So I'm going to start from... You, you got to give me the trailer then. Yeah, I'll give you the trailer. From when so, you had to be 15. Ah, uh, nah. Starting before that. Oh, good. <laughs> I started before the B15. Let me start before the B15. The Mirage. <laughs> the Mirage. The white Mirage. Right. Then when purple. <laughs> it starts from there. Let me start from the only DJs that functioning now was functioning under no with me from since Mirage days. Now this will be since teens, eh? Teenagers. I'm talking about men like DJ Dago. He was in he was on the team. Right. Kimo, he was on the team. Ultimate, he was on the team. To have two cheerers who came on the team, left the team, and still functioning under their own space. But they're functioning. Because being, even though the team bust up, the team come together, the team, up to this day, you can call a boy, and they still respect, and they still function, and they still help. Mm. From since the Mirage days, before it was actually put into reality as it is now. So, Mirage days, growing up, coming up, helping other DJs, putting them where they want to go, helping them with wherever they need to get from then to now. Now, Mirage days was when Club Platinum in Southland Mall. That was Mirage days. That was when they now open it. So, Mirage yeah. pumping before that. Mm. Mirage was big when La, uh, Vestini Beach used to have Easter weekend Bay Watch. Right. Google that. I think that could be in early 2000s. Okay. Early. Early ish. So we're talking so from then, more than 15 years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More mm-hmm. than 15 years. Yeah. So from, from then, with all the classroom, with all the setup, with all the knowledge, with all the experience I have now. I've been doing it instead, organically. And now, as I put everything together, I still do it organically, but on a professional level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we push the life skills and education and academics very hard. So everybody know my name is DJ Intellect, right? Smarter tongue in motion. So with some help from a brethren here, we came up with the intellectual so it's the intellect urban arts and life skills so this is the whole school compact into one and we do djing 
we do not skills. We also do, we have something called handyman TT, where we teach fixing and repairing air conditions, small machines, um, repairing cars, straightening cars, plumbing, woodwork. And we have a PE, physical education side, which is sports, fitness, health. So is intellectuals doing all these three things. Plus a few other stuff we have coming up great, but we don't talk about that. But the main thing is, is DJ. From DJ, I as I was talking about before, how the youths when you get in, or no, I don't even want to say youths, because as I said, we have 40 year old, 50 year old people out there running around like if there's 12, 13, 21, 25. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's not even youths. We still want to inject their life skills into them and we still want to give them different avenues not just this one thing that you see so you can come here to learn to dj and find your like production more and try to be a producer we had a student that came in for production and heard somebody on the mic talking in the radio and said what's that going on there i said we're going on a radio show and they forgot about production jumping to be an announcer then they came back and finished the production. So it's different avenues. It's just to show somebody different avenues. Now, I could explain how I could understand all that, but that is not for today. Mm-hmm. Like, right, so intellectuals, boom, 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 that, 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 right? Come from you think, um, but you don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I talk about that. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I want to ask you, how many persons are currently enrolled within this program? No, there are two ways to ask that. How many people are currently enrolled today, as in attend any school right now today? Or how many people have been enrolled since we started? Now, I want to hear current numbers. The current currently now? Yeah. I can tell you 10. 10, right. 10. And if from that 10, how many are young men and young women? We have three women, seven men. Okay. The old, the youngest would be thirteen, and he comes from Tarika. The community right. for class. Hmm. Right now, the reason why I ask in the composition of the class is I want persons to see that. There are a lot of young men out there that are trying to make positive moves. So don't just broad brush and talk about men being a waste in society mm. because there are young men that are trying to make the right step. It's true. Right? And also, I'm happy to hear that there are, there are young women as well that get in, that want to get into the DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a lot of them. A lot of them. They want to get in. They want to get in. They want to be able to... You see, they, they have role models now. Back mm-hmm. in the day, they had like one or two. Alicia, the Duchess. But now, it's have a handful. You can literally say there's a handful of female DJs out there that's saying something, you know, and doing it productive. And the other female DJs are like, yeah, I could do that. I want to do that. And yeah. that's the thing. I, 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 I'm going on and, and head down a little tangent here for the, for mm-hmm. the parents. Because mm-hmm. a lot of parents like to always say, as they say, go to school and get education. But it's the craft, a craft, a skill that is valuable in life. Because I'll, as always said, Ricardo, and I know I just talk about it, my parents weren't always fond of me being a DJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now, any event that happened, who'd have called in first? The and you know, the, you know, is the hard part? You know, I just get paid in? <laughs> food. Food. <laughs> but I love to, eh? Food is love to. Yeah, right? <laughs> but the catch is, if I didn't take it upon myself to food and my craft, mm. I wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation today. So for the parents out there, don't just encourage your children, as we say, not everybody could be a doctor, a lawyer, a mechanical engineer, a civil engineer, a accountant, an auditor. 
not everybody want to go down that road. Some people are inclined in music. And music is not just playing an instrument. Mm-hmm. Because some of the most successful entertainers on the face of the earth today are DJs. It's true. You know, um, I, I want people to understand that the we we see that the world around us change. The youths have different motivations to what our motivations were, and even the generation before us had different motivations. We in the information age and a, te- a technological age, a age where content creation, a age where representing culture, a age where being able to combine ent- entertainment with information is is the is a real world experience out here. Edu- is our is our ed- edutainment. Edutainment, right? Yeah. When you watch. Uh, you, I, I, I will tell you now. We, one of our guests, our, our guest last week, a teacher in our all male secondary school. We started our sound system when we were in you know, probably nineteen or twenty, mm. and there are representatives of that organization living in New York and Miami, w- working, yeah, company form, business develop. What I'm saying is that this is a life-changing opportunity you see the rush for cruise ship and thing the other day yeah it's not everybody who was going there to mop and sweep you know it have it's entertainment cool. is a entertainment sure is tourism i'm sure it's a few DJs in there sure entertainment is tourism sure they love to hear trini music playing all over the world and look how the island represented but you're vexed with the people who play in music here and mm. they want and they want to play, play them and i play that food you understand Wait, 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 Iran, Iran, Iran. All right. No, 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 no. And, and the man, is, food is food is love too, right? No, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying mm-hmm. because we're talking about DJing. But when you see it, it is irking me that when they're asking a panist to come and play at the event. Hmm. Well, go by the band, take a drink now, boy. We could do. No, you see, all right, never, never break down that fair, right? People know the history of that. People know what pan is, what pandas do, and where pan could carry. Because people from the beginning were introduced to those avenues with pan. As a DJ, all a DJ know is all a DJ want to do in the, as he starting is to learn to mix good in the bedroom. And as he get that, he, then after that, he will get be introduced to something else. He either him he either see the making a birthday party a club, a big concert, and as he gets, then he will go and filter to where he wants. People don't know how important music is. Mm-hmm. If you really sit down, what it have in the country, not even in the country, in the world, that you just have to sell, that you don't need music. Oh, One want- product. I, I, want one to, product. I want to quote with, you. Tell me. <laughs> I want to with quote you on something earlier. Really. Any place on the earth that you can sell without using music. Uh, Why well, um, is it being realized? This is a this is a early show. Early show. I keep that here because I, I could think of one product. I could think of one product. Yeah, but that does sell itself. I right? the same I'm not gonna say that does sell itself. Wow. Well, um, but, <laughs> but, yeah. but just but, to show you right, the, so the, we, the 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 old iron scrap iron battery buy in. Right. You see, not on a rhythm and in a loop. And it, what people don't big understand up, is. Big, big up, Leon Caldera. Hold on. Hold what on. Pe- hold what on. people don't understand hold is. On. That is what a, a jingle hold does on. come from, you know. The man on High Street by the clothes store or by Ratans. Right. You don't just talk, come and buy some jockey from me. We have it cheap. He had a saint in our melody. Mm-hmm. Get the saint with our bunks. No, but save it a bit. Again, it's um, music. We have when we had the conversation, um, I can't remember who we had it with, but I think it was a teacher from Nap Chicago. And we were talking about our language as part of our culture. Yeah. And we, 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 we sorry? Miss Woodsley. Miss Wood, thank you. And we were talking about how as Trinidadians we have a melodic way of speaking. Mm, yes, it's true. Yeah. If you if you had a call, what's our phone number? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're you flowing with it. 
I, I, as well, listen on a Saturday when I own. Yeah, the numbers you can call are 6524901 or 1786292789. There's always something. Have to, and this is what people don't understand. Oh, sorry, that, that don't mean call now, eh? because remember, guys, the show was pre recorded. <laughs> right, so so people don't understand that if you going to have an event, maybe they don't say event, let's say you're going to sell a book. Like it's a children's book. Like and you have to have some kind of some kind of children's music playing in the background. Um you we could give examples of that. Remember when there was Boy Boy and the Magic Drum? Good. So hmm. people have no, to no. know people just have to know how important music is. And then they will they may respect it a bit more. They may respect right. DJs a bit more. Honestly. Yeah. You, you want you know you want people to understand how important a DJ is. Blank them when I ask you when I ask you to come and do christening now. Huh. For the first birthday party. Yeah, blank them, mm-hmm. blank them when they ask for the, when they want a, a DJ to handle the wedding reception. They pay big money for that. Imagine you yeah. go a sports day and it ain't no DJ play no music. Hmm. You, ima- imagine carnival with no music. Hmm. Uh, Independence Day parade with no drums. Hey, that coming up just now. So, 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 do you know the pan now? People understand. Okay, the pan is the national instrument. It could be the pan. It sounds very nice. It sounds excellent. So, yeah, 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 you know, it could get you in different places, right? But people don't know as a DJ. Oh, oh, look, he's just gonna play music for four hours. Yeah. That's easy that, to do. Yeah. That, no, that's all. No, no, that's all. Somebody who so now especially somebody who now coming into that business as well. So you already can't because again, they didn't get the proper education to know about how much a DJ is and what a DJ had to do. Some people um, just call up a DJ. I will come and play by my bar boy. All right, cool. Come by the bar. No speaker. No this. You gotta get it. That things the DJ have to ask and the person have to have kind of for me dj so this is what i'm saying you have to know what to ask and what what to ask you have to know that you have to know these these specific questions to ask especially when you're going and call a dj to play right uh i book in your farm for so by so by so by so the dj have to ask okay do you have to get this will you have to get this but they don't know Especially, and again, a person who now starting a, a bar, a lounge, now going to throw a party, they don't know. Mm-hmm. So it have somebody have to educate them about it. Right? And let them I'll, know, okay. It's about the things that just have paying them and paying them. I'll give Ole a little joke here. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we're getting perilously close to the hour of, um, well, to the end of the show tonight, all right? True, already. Yeah. Um, we had a job that I'm going to do, right? Mm-hmm. And I tell the person, I quote in here for this, and I list all the services and the equipment that I'll be bringing. Two days before the show, I all of a sudden hear it going from a man coming to sing on tracks mm. to a full band. <laughs> and when I say a full band, I talking, mm. they say, Marshall coming to perform. Mm. But want yeah, me to maintain my price. How about... You make some more alone. You make some more alone. Have to change, All right? Not alone. So, is that money to get to rent out? So, so guys, it it people think that as you say, a DJ just come and press buttons and play music, mm. but it is a lot more that goes into this. And I think there's a conversation that we need to continue to have. Eh? And I think we also need to have it from the angle of greater respect for the entertainment industry and entertainers as a whole. As a whole. <laughs> because I just hear some stories um, when I line in with, with your godfather, Ricardo. You, you, you mean your your godfather? Oh, same difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know Can what? you don't call me? <laughs> the, the godfather. <laughs> Right, yeah. and I hear some of them stories and artists talking about. And when I say artists, I'm not talking about. I now start a singer. Mm-hmm. Men who in the industry 10, 15, 20, probably 30 years, still getting the same dog treatment as they call it. 
that they were getting when they started. It have and a reason for that. It have a reason for that though. It have different reasons for that. Eh? But I know one say it have it have many reasons, and one of them we'll call is that a lot of persons who are in the industry don't respect it enough to charge properly. But again, that's our next conversation. Mm-hmm. It have a lot of things that could come out of this one conversation. Yeah, but then now you have to ask now, what is the proper price? Because I, mean, I, 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 I know a man. I know a man who charge our next man $8,500 to do a wedding for four what? Yeah, what is wedding? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, hold, like hold on. Yeah, what DJ had to carry? Yeah. Two monitors, top two bass, a console, cordless mic. A cordless with two mics. So the rest of the two mics. Yeah. That's it. He charged him $8,500 for. And that is how we come to the end of today's <laughs> program. Because uh, I think we need to end that when by Shay telling me that where I could sign up for for a job like that. <laughs> exactly. But he didn't get a job, eh? No, this is what I'm saying. The person called the DJ, request what he want. The DJ told him 500 So the guy asked me, so is that the price for all that? I was like, well, not really. Maybe if you're buying it brand new. You hmm. know? I think that, that is maybe the price to maybe get. So, yeah. Yeah, you can maybe get some of that, yeah? So I was, he was asking me how. I was like, I don't know. I said, maybe the brand name is JBL. Maybe it's one of those, the most expensive brand names. Maybe oh. it's, a, it's somebody who, who doesn't want to get corporate gigs because corporate does pay more. All right. Yeah. But to, so to balance, the, to, to, to balance yeah. I want to ask, though. I want to ask. Mm. We hear one end that is kind of like, oh gosh, come, don't do me that. But then it have the other end where people want you to work the whole wedding or play for the whole night. So let me say a four to six hour gig, mm. right? Sometimes and don't want to, don't want to pay you three hundred dollars. Mm. No, yeah. no. Do you know the rate? Do you know the rate for DJs now? You know it have a rate for DJs, right? A, a, a rate. Yeah, it have a rate. It have a rate. What? Aaron, you know the rate? <laughs> no, I, I I just say go ahead because I know what I discharge. <laughs> right. I talk about for beginners. I don't talk mm. about for experienced men. I don't talk about for radio men. I don't right. talk about for yeah. people who don't call the gate and had the skill. Mm. I want to collect some dust. They will know how to charge. Mm. So I let them know if you have basic skill, basic juggling skill, you can go at 75 per hour, 50 per hour. Basic skill. Right? So you know you know what type of gigs you're going to get with your basic right. skill. Yeah. You will know where to go with your basic skills. Don't go down by, by residence. I will play down here with your basic skill because you will last long though. You have to know where to go with your basic skills. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're having skills, you could hold down a proper set. You could do your thing proper. You have your transitions, you have your little scratches, you have your this, you have your that. And it's a little launch, it's a bar, it's not, it's not, it's not an event. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? A hundred hours. If you're, if, if you're ready, feeling cocky, and you're ready, feeling, you, could, you know, you could go out 120. But $100 hours is cool. And that's just me. I feel $100 hours fair. Because the amount of work you're going to put in, the amount of work you're putting to start. Yeah. I'm not talking about mixing it. I'm talking about mm. your music. I'm talking about your laptop and your music and stuff being proper. You're paying that time. Right? A DJ who have skills charging 100 hours, you play for six hours. You could, you make back the money that you put in. You make back all the money for your equipment. Mm-hmm. You make back money for your time. I think that's fair. That's no, that's just me being yeah. in it. And then knowing how DJs will charge for events, it had to have a rate for smaller, for smaller places like bars, lounges, people yeah. who now starting. It had to have the two. You can't call a man from radio, like a man, a man from radio, yeah, where you come up at open, yeah, 3,500. It's a bar open, boy. We open the bar, we ain't closing down. Because when I don't pay you and pay this, I've got to close down. So, so you have to so, have different, you understand? Yeah, different levels now. 
right. because it's different levels to the everybody want to use one level all over the place yeah, and yeah. expect to know and they want to know how come i engage um, i like i like how you talk there but um as we look into rap here mm-hmm. intellect mm-hmm. um hey thanks for coming in and giving us another side of the thing mm-hmm. right no problem, uh, bro. i want to ask you yeah, um is there anything well i know one of the reasons i'm particularly impressed with the intellectuals workshop right is because mm-hmm. i know you're encouraging literacy and yeah. mass and mm-hmm. you know you, you have you have an actual rollout of comprehension and that type of thing where it's, yeah, it's have, actual. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I find it. Yeah. So we have a, a, a DJ Workshop Fundamentals notebook here. Right? So it was ready for every student to do it, but the school has to be like on a, a silver level to give students, per student, because it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So what I do now, I give, like let's say with the 10 students I have here, every week you have to do one page in this book. So in this book you will get, uh, let's let's go on, we have some small maths here, some small mathematics, you might not see it, so I'm yeah. already tripping up on the screen so much. We have some multiplication, small stuff, we have some word search exercises where you learn equipment, production, laptop, producer, Seratolite, MacBook Pro, stuff that you're doing is dicey words you'll be fine. So you'll be entertained to win the work. Right. And then we have then we have questions like um list your your list your five top DJs. Right? List your five top announcers, your five top influential um influencers. Then we have something in the back here. We have some goal writing exercises for DJs, goal writing exercises for producers. We have um, a section as well with uh, pros and cons of social media. We you think social media got good for, with bad for? You know, it's plenty of stuff to make you think, and it's all around the craft, which is right. DJing. Right. So this is how I get them to function. So, uh, uh, you know, or not even a youth, because I know you have some elderly clients yeah. as well mm-hmm. elderly students hey, but what i'm saying is you're, you're not just sticking them behind a, a, a laptop or turntables and the pressing buttons mm-hmm. the gain yeah. of education in the industry the the you're yeah. actually familiarizing them with the 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 information with peers with mentors you you you're actually exposing them to the information that has flesh out that has connect djing to the rest of the uh, entertainment industry then yes yeah. more or less you know, sure, yeah. right. so uh, i want to i want to congratulate you on the efforts and i want to acknowledge both you and aaron as being examples of fellas who take the the, the skill to a craftsman level and move beyond craftsman level but actually elder statesmen in the thing now where when people hey. see all here and no aaron i'm telling you you on WAC 90.1 FM, total local radio station, right? And everybody know your heart is after the soca music, after the local music, after the culture. And until like you have your feet on the ground, literally pouring back into your community and defending and upl- uplifting the level of your craft in the industry that you're in, right? The work that all you're doing, I, it had me wondering, so who else out here putting in the work and nobody's seeing it, mm. but... But from the time I DJ name calling a headline. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Right, so I want to thank you guys for all your efforts at again creating outlets and avenues and for fleshing out the culture when everything else watering it down. So um Shay, I don't know if you want to just say hi, good night. Anybody you want to bless up? Anybody you want to call out? Bye. I don't really want to I do it's have so many people. Mm. You know, I don't want to miss anybody. Right. Right. So just wanna send love to everybody, you know? Because love is good. Guys, we need more of that. So just send out love to everybody. And um if you wanna learn to DJ, MC, build beats, make remixes, check me, yeah, you'll get you. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Yo, this is yours truly, Ricardo Mitchell, the social stage on the local stage. Thanking you guys for joining us in the living room. 
we continuing to have the conversations about addressing the violence and we dealing mm. with the people on the front line the individuals in the action right it's not always about highlighting our problem sometimes it's about highlighting solutions highlighting alternatives right so i want to thank dj intellect for coming through representing intellectuals dj workshop uh it's good to hear that there's shock here that there's a, a desire to uplift the people the students and i know yes yeah you have probably 10 enlisted right now but i know for mm. a fact is hundreds of people hundreds of people pass through the workshop it's true right from from pampas to pensioner mm-hmm. right so i want to i want to congratulate you and tell you all the best are you doing marbella proud and remember guys the hourglass is opaque to find a way for that. I don't train Marbella, but the hourglass is yeah. peak. <laughs> we do not much time remains, so whatever you're doing, be good and stay safe. So, Aaron? This is your truly DJ, Aaron 868. I'm always great, and trust me, I am never late. I want to say again, thank you very much, Shay. Um, mm-hmm. We go way back, and we're going to continue going forward. And you know, as Amanda lend assistance where I can, if you want somebody to come and talk on it in something in terms of balancing a professional career and being a DJ, yeah, you could vibes, man. Right? Yeah, well, we have, we have, we have class this week here, so I'll call it tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. No problem, right? Um, yeah. Up next is Mr. Desmond with the big band. Um, Remember, guys, I'm not working Saturday, as I tell earlier, <laughs> uh, on Monday at 10 a.m. for the retro shootout. Don't study nobody after me or nobody before me. Just make sure I'm tuning at 10. <laughs> right? <laughs> As I always end, I say that love is the currency, so spend some today. All right? Keep it locked to the True Nation. Stay sharp. We're out.